Solid gold collar buttons. Solid huh? gold? Uh, better than gold. Who's next? Who's next? Folks? They're all next. I, you. <laughs> Here we are, folks. A, 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 a genuine fireproof celluloid collar. Genuine fireproof celluloid. Hey, hey, get that guy. <laughs> Chinaman's windows, or I'm gonna have to throw you out. You can go right back to the gutter where I picked you up at, eating out of them garbage cans and sleeping in the gutters and hiding in the cellars from them orphan asylum coppers. But Chuck, it was only a chink's window. I know, but a window's a window. You know, when I picked you up, you told me that you'd be the right kind of a guy with me. I got a reputation down here. My friends don't want to see me being followed about by a little punk that's always throwing rocks through windows. It ain't refined. <laughs> now, stop it and be a good boy. Come on. Hey, who done that? Steve Brody was passing by here and the guy's at him to have a rotten marshmallow at your name. You know, Steve Brody never takes a dare. He did, did he? Well, someday that poor flesh will take a dare that'll land him in the morgue with a lily on his chest. He might. Hey, Chuck. Yeah. Can you take me? Sure. Half a buck. Thanks, pal. Hi, Mr. Collins. Could I talk to you? See me later, Bo. See me later. Later. Oh, Dan. Oh, hi, hi. Hello, Dan. Hello, oh, hi. How's everything? Oh. How you doing? Come on, the drinks are on the house. Thank you. 
the guinea kids. I gave Maggie Klein and P.T. Barnum for Frankie Bailey and Lillian Russell. Yeah? Ain't they pips? Yeah, you're too young to be looking at those things. Why don't you get pictures of Buffalo Bill and Jack Kilrain and Bill Muldoon and those boys, huh? Oh, they ain't good looking like the Scoits. Yeah, get your mind off the Scoits. They're worse than the booze is. They fill you full of hot air and all they want is your spawn doolings. Remember what I always tell you? This is a man's world. This is a man's world. Never believe in women. There's none of them on the up and up. Am I right? Right. Stand around. Why, there's Chuck. Hey, Chuck. Hey, Chucksy. Come on. You and me is going to start what we left off last night. Hey, get out of here. Can't you see I'm busy? Your gas bag, get out of here. <laughs> Hey, you can't get rid of me, you big bull moon. Oh, ain't you the sweet one? I could just eat you alive, you big bear, you. You're trying to hi-hat me after what you've done to me in Tony Pastor's gallery. And maybe you don't remember that day at Fort George. See, what did I tell you about them crows? They're all just the same. They're as nutty as fruitcake, you get me? Sure thing, Chuck. Go on. Time for to go on home now. Your time's up and don't go roaming around. You understand? Oh, but Chuck, I promised to stop by nigger Joe's. Well, what have I told you about that coon? And no throwing any more rocks at that Chinese laundry. Them chinks are my friends. 23 skidoo. Oh, I won't stop at Joe's truck, but please, just one, let me throw just one little rock at the chicks. Oh, come on, please, just one little one, come all on. All right, just one, he just one, that's all. Gee, Chuck, you're all to the mustard. Don't stop that. People think I'm your mother. Now go on home and straighten up the joint. It looked crummy this morning. And throw them cats out of there, too. That's my kid, hmm? Thanks. Can I speak to you a minute, Chuck? Certainly, if you're not tongue-tied. I was thinking I'd like to join your fire brigade. Yeah? I want to get on the right brigade. I looked them all over and picked yours. You did? Well, say, listen. Everybody wants to get on to Chuck Connors' fire brigade. Why, we've got a waiting list as high as that Brooklyn Bridge. Well, if you ain't taking nobody, I can join Steve Brody's outfit. Hey, listen, don't mention that pot's name around here. Anybody can get into Steve Brody's fire brigade. Chuck Connors picks his men. Personal. Sure, I know. I know. That's why I want to hook up with you, Chuck. Yeah? Well, uh, have you got the $200 for the joiner? I can pay me way. I know you're pretty fast with your dukes, but can you take it? Can I? Say, I've been knuckle dusting for years. So you can uh, stand the gaff, huh? Anytime. Stick it out. Perfect, me lad. Perfect. Go on over to fire headquarters and get your helmet. Hey, Chuck. Steve Brody's on his way up here. Yeah? Well, let him come. His Mazuma's just the same as anybody else's.
evening, Mr. Connors. Pleasure to see your happy, smiling face again. None of your lip riles. What's eating you, Chuck? So you've gone back to your kindergarten days again, throwing marshmallows. I had to do it, Chuck. A geek dares me to hit the Owen Connors on your front window. You know me. I couldn't take a dare, could I? So I takes the mushroom. And I wins the bet. Two Nelly Blys. <laughs> Here's your share. Don't ever say I never give you nothing. Let's say a shade, Trixie. I got you, Steve. You devil, you. There's a big fire in my street! All members of the Chuck Connors Fire Brigade report to headquarters at once! Steve Brody volunteers, come on! Come on, Connors, you better get going! Yeah? I bet you $100 I saw the first hose on that fire! You're on! The Some guy threw a rock through the chase window and busted the lamp. Up she goes. Here comes Steve Brody's brigade, boy. Here comes Steve Brody. Oh, Here comes the fire brigade. Steve Brody wins. Steve Brody's boy. Here comes Steve. Great chance for Steve. Great night. You bet, you guys. I told you to go home, you hoodlum. I'm for you. Here, work. Get off of it. Come on, get on this side up here. Come on, get on there. Let's go, get on going. Hey, you lay off that. I got here first. Yeah, well, yeah. put on the fire. Something rich for you, Steve. Yeah. I know a guy that hates Chuck Connors the same way you do. Yeah. 
This guy has got a little pill, see? And from the right Mazuma, he'll slip it into Chuck's coffee. Where is he? He's waiting. Come on. This is Googie Cochran from Joysey City. I, uh, I told him about the pills, Googie. How much are you going to nick me for the job? 500 bucks. You sure it'll work? Guaranteed. Wait a minute. I want to be sure there's nobody listening. You got the junk with you? This is stuff we make ourselves. Now, let me get this straight. For 500 bucks, you're willing to put Connors under the daisies. That's it. Why? <laughs> Don't ever say I never give you nothing. Here, look at that. <laughs> oh, read it, read it, read it. Read all about me. Me eyes are tired. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if it ain't little boy blue, where's your horn? I'm here on business. I got another match for your bloody butch. Yeah, well, anytime, any place, anybody. 500 bucks says I got the boy that can wipe up the floor with him. It's a bet. It's a bet. Just name the time and place. How about right here, Saturday night? Swell. You can bury your man on Sunday. <laughs> Give me the cash. Here's the bet. Witness here, 500 aside. Chuck Connors, bloody butch, against Steve Brody's. Who's your man, Steve? You can call him the Mask Marvel. <laughs> the Mask. What's the matter? Is he ashamed to show his face? Not at all. Not at all. Here you are, Chuck. Don't ever say I never give you nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Freshy. I'll smoke me on. Here you are, Chuck. <laughs> Remember, don't ever say I never give you nothing. <laughs> You seek a toot in his ear, I'll lay out myself. Pull 
off his mask and I'll fight him myself. <laughs> Allow me to introduce the Boston Strong Boy, John L. Sullivan. <laughs> What's your name? Lucy Calhoun. Lucy Calhoun. That's a pretty name. <laughs> You'll have everything you need? Well, we'll take it down to Macy's and buy her up. Hello, Connors. Hello, Chuck. Hey, were you ever in this joint before? No. No, sir. Go on and roll your hoop someplace else. Oh, what's the big idea? Yeah, yeah sit stuff. down. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there, come I on. I haven't done anything wrong. These gentlemen said they were going to help me find a job. Help you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on, roll your hoop, roll your hoop. Oh, well, I didn't know. Go on, lady. I'm sorry. Uh. Go on, sit down. Now stay where you are. You're going to stay right there until she gets in the clear. And listen, it's all right for you to spend your mazoom around here, but don't go trying to hook no new guys out of this joint. I know what your traffic is and what you're up to. I don't want to get mixed with the law, see? Drink your slops, it's paid for. Hi, baby. I love you as I never loved before. Never loved before. When first I met you on the There's a half a yard for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's you, huh? Mr. Connors, I, I want to thank you. I've been waiting all night to thank you. That's nothing. That's nothing. But it meant a great deal to me. You see, I was looking for work, and those men said they had a job for me. Yeah, what a job. You're the only one that's been really kind. I wonder if you'd help me. Oh, no, I ain't got no time for any goyles. Can you dance? Let's see your shape. No, I, I can't dance, but, but I'll scrub floors. I'll do anything. Well, you see me tomorrow. See me tomorrow. Please, Mr. Connors, you don't know what this means to me. Hey, have you got any place to flop? Flop? Yeah, sleep. Oh, I'm ashamed to say so, but I haven't. Well, your story sounds phony to me, but I'll take a chance that you're on the up and up. Come on, Scoit. No, thank you. I don't drink. That's me spare boudoir for the guests. You'll find a lot of blankets in the bottom drawer there. Be sure and toy out that gas or the joint will go up like a firecracker. Gee, I've been looking for that thing for a month. Hey, there's a strange squid 
How dare? Oh. What's the idea of crashing in on me in the middle of the night? A squeak. Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot. Some dame without dough, and I dragged her in for the night. Yeah, well, we don't want no hairpins here. The way she's walking around all day, you'd think she owned the joint. Oh, don't worry. Forget about it. Forget about it. We'll slip her a buck and give it a breeze. Say, the place looks perfect. I didn't recognize it. I, I hope you don't mind. I got your breakfast, too. Swell. Go get some duds on. You know better than come in here like that. Go on. Get them on. I'll be right back in a minute. Those cats go out of here today. Yeah, you'll drown yourself in that saucer. Stop that. Don't do that when she's around here. Ain't you, ain't you got no manners? What's your name? Lucy Calhoun. Lucy Calhoun. Say, Chuck, ain't you forgot something? How about that buck and the breeze? Eat your mush. That's my buck, and I'll do with it what I wants to. Yeah, and it's your mush, too. Where are you from? Albany. Albany. Mm -mm. And what you doing here? Well, you see, my family had an idea that I ought to teach school. I wanted to get someplace in the world, be somebody. I always wanted to write, be a novelist, you know. When I first came here, I worked in a bookshop. Then it closed. My money ran out. Night before last, I, I slept in Union Square. Then yesterday, I met those two men. They offered me something to eat, so I didn't realize what they were until you I can't, I can't let it lick me like this. I got to get a job someplace oh, today. Oh, that's all right. You got a job already. Oh, rat. You mean you'll let me work here? Sure, why not? Oh. That's all right. We got a landlady, she comes up about once a week, but her cooking ain't no Delmonica's. And the joint always looks crummy, uh, looks fierce, always. Why, Mr. Connors, I, I hardly know what to say. How about that book and the breeze? Pipe down, pipe down. We'll pay you what it's worth, and, and you can have your eat here with us. Well, I got to fix you up now. I know. Swipe, see? You move your trash out the bedroom there, and you can sleep in here on the sofa. Oh, but his room, I oh, couldn't think Oh, think of. nothing of it. Think nothing of it. Why, he likes to sleep in here on the sofa. He's always asking me if he can't. Ain't your swipes. You know, Chuck, you're a great guy. And you know I'm your pal. But sometimes you sound like you're full of hop. What kind of talk is that? What kind of talk is that? Are you going to be a gentleman to this lady, or ain't you? Don't pay no attention to him, miss. Just go ahead and make yourself to home and clean up the... Well, you know what to do. I got to go over to Brooklyn, to the brewery. I got to see a guy. You don't need to get any supper and, until you hear from me, huh? Goodbye, Mr. Connors. 
You don't need to call me Mr. Connors, Lucy. Just call me Chuck. Uh-oh. Hey, lamp this. Oh, I seen that. Hey, what about the eats? I don't know. You don't know? Where's Lucy? I don't know. Hey, I'm asking you, where is she? Maybe she flew the coop. What? I ain't seen her around. Why, that's funny. Maybe she threw down the job. You know, skirts don't like dishwashing for a steady thing. Yeah, but she wouldn't go away without saying something. You said never to trust a squirt. And they're never on the up and up. You said so, didn't you? Why, that's her hat and coat. Say... Come on now, where is she? How do I know? I don't worry about girls. This is a man's world. Skites is all nutty like a fruitcake. You said so yourself. Where, where's that key? So that's the kind of a kid you are, huh? The minute me back is turned, you pull a dirty trick, don't yeah, you? Yeah, and I'd do it again with pleasure. You would, would you? Oh, he didn't mean anything wrong. He was just playing. Oh, boys are like that. You keep out of this. We don't want you here, and you might as well put that in your pipe and smoke it. You stop that. You want me to tan your little hide for you? Now you go ahead and apologize to the lady. Take it back now. I ain't gonna apologize, no skirt you picked up off the corner. But well, that's the finish. You come here. Chuck. You know better than don't, that after her, don't you? Oh, Chuck. Chuck, stop it. You're going to do that anymore? Huh? Now, what do you got to say for yourself? The whipping didn't hurt, Chuck. You, you couldn't hurt nobody. It's it just that you had to go and do it in front of her. Please go and tell him you're sorry. Oh, no, he'll be all right. I let him throw a couple of rocks at the chinks, that's all. I wouldn't for the world come between you two. You're such good friends. Oh, don't you worry. He and me's had fights before. <laughs> sure. You know, I ain't gonna let him get fresh with no lady like you, Lucy. I gotta make him toe the mark. I want him to grow up to be a great guy. And I gotta teach him his manners or he'll grow up to be a bum. Then everybody will say that Chuck Connors is no good because the kid ain't no gentleman. And I got a reputation to think about and I means a lot down here on this Bowery. And I want that kid to mean a lot too. See? I want him to be a big, fine... Eight swipes. What's the idea?
Chuck, go get him quick. Oh, that's all right. He's, he's my my boy. He's my swipe seat. He'll be back. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Where you going? Come on, Trixie. Be a good little girl. It's oh, getting late in the morning. No, you have no, to go no, home. Come on. Come on. So Come on. Come on. Why don't you be a lady and go home? Whee! Why do you like that? Hey. Come on. Get in the cab. There. Come on. I've had enough of this. Come on. Get in there. Do you love me? Sure, I love you. Certainly, I love you. Drive around the block until she sobers up. Then drop her off at the aquarium. Has she got a husband? That's your worry. Swipes, what are you doing around here? Oh, hello, Steve. I didn't know this was your joint. I had to sleep somewhere. I thought you were living with Chuck. Oh, him and me are still friends, but we had a little argument. Hmm, you don't tell me. Yeah, he kicked me out for a squint. Hmm. One of the girls from the joint? No, this is one he picked up off the street. Oh. Well, there's no sense of sleeping around here. Come on, you can move in with me. I got plenty of room. Oh, no, Terry, Steve. I couldn't do that. Come on, I got a nice feather bed and it's nice and warm. Oh, can I bring me cat? Sure thing. Say, I'm crazy about cats. And I always liked you, too, Swipes. Even if you was Chuck's pal. Come on, let's hit the hay, huh? I just dropped by to see Chuck. I I'm sorry, but he's not here. Oh, that's all right. I'll wait. But he might be gone until evening. Well, if he don't come back soon, I can leave a note. Can I? You know, me and Chuck's old pals. Funny, I ain't never seen you before. Well, I've only been working for Mr. Connors a short while. Working? Oh, yeah. They calls it by another name in my neighborhood. You, uh, you said you wanted to write a note? Sure. I got to hand it to Chuck. He's got better taste than I thought. Please. Oh, don't get sore. I just want to be good friends with you, that's all. You're Chuck's girl and Chuck is my pal. There's no harm in that, is there? You let me go. Come on, slip Stevie a little kiss. <laughs> you dirty little... You got teeth like a tiger. What's the big rush? We're even, ain't we? You bit me and I took a sock at you. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? You let me alone. Let me out of here. Oh, calm down. Calm down. I promise I won't hit you again. That is, if you don't bite me. I wouldn't hit a girl like you, but I taught you of the other kind. How is a guy supposed to know? They almost look alike sometimes. And now I'm going to tell you the truth. I didn't come up here to see Connors. I wanted to see you. I thought you and Chuck was... Well, you know. 
And Chuck and me ain't the pals like I said. When I can put something over on him, I does. I figured if I could move in on him with you, I could give him the big horse laugh. Gee, I'm sorry, lady. You know, that's the longest speech I ever made in my life. I'm sorry about your hand. Oh, forget about it. That's nothing. I can fix it right up. All over the floor. Can you beat it? Look, if you only got a job here and you ain't stuck on Chuck, there's no reason why you and I can't be good friends, is there? Sure there ain't. Hold still, Keith. We could go out sometime, couldn't we? Just you and me? You'd better go. Right now, if you please. But I'm going to see you again, ain't I? I'm sure I don't know. Well, then I'll call you up on the telephone. I wouldn't even know your name. <laughs> Pardon me, I forgot. Why, I'm Steve Brody. You heard of me, ain't you? No. Gee. Well, anyway, I'll call you up, lady. still sort me, are you? Oh, we ain't gonna let nothing come between you and me. She's a swell girl, Swipes. Honest, she is. Oh, by the way, your cat's got kittens again. Four he's and seven she's. Ha! That's... Me friends and me's gonna give a picnic and we're going down to the beach. You come on, go along, and, and then we'll go back home, you and me together, huh? Wonderful here, ain't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I've been batting around with all the tramps and good time Charlie so long, it seems like a dream being out with anybody like you. Oh, Lucy. And it sure took a lot of nerve telling you I loved you and expecting you to believe it. You do believe it, don't you? Oh, yes, dear. And you love me, too? Of course I do. Then what's worrying you, honey bunch? You know. Chuck, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are you worrying about a guy like that for? Well, I wouldn't want to hurt him. He's been so good to me. Well, you got to think of yourself, too. Are we going to go on like this forever? Always going to places so people can't see us? Steve. Yeah? You don't mind if I ask you something, do you? No. How do you make your money? Gambling. But isn't that against the law? Sure, but what of it? Maybe the law is wrong. You don't think keeping a saloon is better? It's honest. Well, I'll be keeping a saloon one of these days. A big one, too. Bigger than Connor's. Why is it that you two are such great enemies? Because we both want the same things. You, for instance. You know, I, I believe if Chuck knew I was in love with you, he'd kill us both. Yeah? What do you think I'd be doing? How does it fit, Chuck? Point me to the lad, point me. Look it over, one of them. All right, what is it? 
Let's go down where the bathing beauties are. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> One of the Fort Ward lineup. Hi, oh, boy. Yes, a better one. Uh, uh, Floaty. Steve. Well, well, if it ain't Mr. Herman, how is the big brewer from uptown? See, we was looking all over for you. Oh, uh, this is my partner, Mr. Romo. Uh, see, uh, let's take a little walk down the stem. We'd like to have a few words with you uh, on the QT, huh? Sure. You see the trouble with the brewery? Now, that is what bothers us. Our beer is not represented on the Bowery. We are closed out on all sides. You see, Mr. Brody, we brew the best lager beer in the United States. But the Ace Brewery people have everything so uptight. Now, now, next to Chuck Connors, you are the most popular man on the street. What do you mean, next to Connors? Say, I can put it over in that hooligan at anything from women to vinegar. Yeah, now, you see, if you could only do something that would bring your name into prominence. Say, I've been in the police gazette, ain't I? Oh, yes, yes, yes. But we mean something important. Headlines in the papers, the whole town talking about you. Something that would make people want to patronize any place that had your name over the door. You see, Mr. Brody, uh, if you could build yourself up, we would open up a saloon with your name in letters you could read from here over to Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Brooklyn Bridge. Yes, but it would have to be something spectacular, something sensational. That's just what I've been waiting for. You see that bridge? Huh? Well, I taught about it lots of times, looking at it out of my window. They call it the eighth wonder of the world. People come from everywhere just to look at it. If a guy jumped off that bridge, the whole world would know about it. You, you mean you jump off from the Brooklyn Bridge? Why not? You said you wanted something spectacular, didn't you? Yes, yes but you couldn't do that and live, could you? Well, you can't aim a saloon after a dead man, can you? We want to get our lager planted down here, but it isn't worth killing a man to do it. Leave it to me, Mr. Herman. I'll take the chance. Ach. Du lieber Strohsack, hast du schon mal sowas gehört? Der will von der Brücke runterspringen. Ja, der Schmerz. ersauft uns ja, der Kerl. Now let's get this thing straight. I bet you that you ain't got the nerve to go through with your boast and jump off the Brooklyn Bridge, right? Right. And if I makes the jump, I become the sole owner and proprietor of this saloon. Right? It's a bet. And if you croak, we'll bury you free. <laughs> uh, come on, boys. Let's get out of this joint. I'm beginning to itch. Don't get personal. No hard feelings, Chuck. Here. Don't ever say I never give you nothing. Still trying to be funny, ain't you, huh? <laughs> oh! David Brody, he's gonna jump off of the Brooklyn Bridge. Ah, uh, he'll kill himself. Steve's gonna jump off the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, Captain. I bet he does. I bet he do. I bet he does. Put up your shot. It's again the law. Get a statement from Brody. Extra, extra. Read all about it. You got a Chinaman's chance. I got a hunch you'll make it. I'll bet you the devil breaks his neck. He body should make the jump, not me. Ui, hi, go get over here. I'm going to Brooklyn Bridge. Ding! Just a bozo, but I hope he makes it. If he makes it? Oh, he's famous. I'm telling you, it's the talk of the town. Please, Steve, please. If you really love me, don't do it. Everybody says you'll be killed. Why, if I thought it would hurt you in the least, I wouldn't even think of it. Now, be a good girl. And promise me not to worry. I love you more than ever. And it won't be long before we're trading the light fantastic together. 
right in the open, with no Connors to worry about. Well, well, of course, Steve, if, if you're perfectly sure everything will be all right. Oh, yes, of course I do. I miss you, too. Did you get that, honey? Don't ever say I never give you nothing. Bye. Hey, uh, Steve Brody, take a look at yourself. Now get this in your bean. Nobody knows about this but us tree. It's a good thing you can't talk, Mumbo. And if anything goes wrong, you won't be able to hear neither. I'll cut off your ears and make eat them. Well, uh, what's gonna happen to... Well, you know who I mean, after he wins a bet and takes his joint away from him. You told me you were finished with him, didn't you? You told me you didn't like him no more. Well, I was just wondering, that's all. Well, tomorrow I'll be in Chuck's shoes and he'll be in mine. And boy, how they'll pinch him. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's get out of here. Get that blanket. We only got a half an hour. Let's get this funeral over with. Huh? Suppose he don't jump. Ah, oh, we'll bury him anyway. Take <laughs> your spyglass, Chief. Come on. Hey, we are all Get right in those carriages. Let's get down the bridge. Thank you. Get right in. Let's get to going here. Uh, uh. Chuck, Chuck. What's eating on here? Carrie Nation is on the warpath. She just made mince meat out of McGurk Saloon, and she's headed this way. Ah, uh, she won't bother me. She knows enough not to fool with Chuck Connors. That's why you're all wrong. She said she was going to chop up Suicide Hall and then come down here. Better stay right here, Chuck. It'll take kid gloves to handle that old battle leg. All right, you go ahead. And when he jumps, hand him that and an anchor. Go ahead. <laughs> Holy gee. I've been waiting five years to see that mulligan cook in his own stew, and now I has to miss it. <laughs> I'll be waiting under that first pillar. Now, don't take any chances. Stay in the bottom of the cab until you get to the place where I showed you. Then throw the dummy with all your might. The coppers will watch at both ends of the bridge. And if anybody asks you where you're going, tell them your grandmother is sick in Canarsie. Here, you take care of my derby. Good luck, Steve. All right, Swipe. <laughs> What do you mean? Somebody's copped it. We can't find it. Mumbo's been looking all over the warehouse for it. What? What did you do with it, you rat? Spit it out or I'll kill you. No, it's Steve Honest. There was somebody else. Somebody got hip to us and copped it. Well, for you, Steve. Congratulations, Steve. We know you can do it all. Get on your cab, dummy. We're on our way. Steve, you can't do it. You wouldn't dare. Dare? Listen, Swipes, nobody can ever say that Steve Brody never took a dare. The cops will stop you. You get pinched. I gotta take the chance. Take yourself on the end of that procession and step on it. Peggy, you know, you want a piece of sausage? Yes, no. Wrangler. Here, want a piece of sausage? Yes. No, I got it. Supposing he doesn't get killed, Papa, then we wasted the whole day for nothing. Ah. <laughs> 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 Steve! Just 
so we can bury you! Say, if I wanted to commit suicide, I'd pick something easier than that. How many? Three, including the hearse. Now on the quarter. Go ahead. Poor fella. Go ahead. How many carriages did he say? Three carriages, including the hoist. I counted four. You sure? Yeah. It's a prima. It's Brody. E e is on the level. This is a working man's club. This ain't no saloon. Oh, out of my way, you viper. He done it. He made the jump. Ladies, you're absolutely right. I'm convoited. I'm a hypocrite. Down with demon rum. Down with liquor. Do your duty. Ah! Help yourself, ladies. Help yourself. Ah, 
is a pity. Good luck, guys, Steve. The bridge is all right, but how about me? Make me bigger, make me bigger. But it would make you all out of perspective. Well, who made the jump, me or perspective? <laughs> And what is your name, my good little man? Buster Brown! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Johnson. Well, if it ain't John L. Wait a minute. A toast to everybody. To Steve Brody, the king of the Bowery. <laughs> yeah, Ladies and gents, I ain't much on the gab. But all I want to say is this. The next time, instead of jumping off the bridge, I'm going to jump over oh. it. <laughs> hey, Steve, look at Steve. The battleship man is just for blown up and have that a hurry. Hey, X-ray South. Hey, that's the X-ray. Army wrestlers lead for Cuba X-ray. I'm special X-ray I can get me feet on the ground oh, if you just fair. give me a chance. Yeah, we depended on you to put over our beer and you failed. Brody made a fool out of you. Oh, I can come back. I know you I You can. can't draw flies. You're through. Ah, oh, listen. You can't let me down like that. Why, all I own is just a close on me back. If you had one-tenth of the money that you lost gambling, you could own your own saloon. Hey, that guy's not thrown at some jockey, ain't he? <laughs> Ten to one for our dough. Hi, fellas, how's you doing, huh? All right. I'm an expert. We know all about it. Water clan with Spain. I'm climbing. Oh, there's, there's no use crying over spilt milk, Lucy. I'm true. I know it. I got to keep moving. If I stick her on here, why, I'd go loony. Oh, Chuck, don't talk like that. You make me feel as if, as if I brought you bad luck. Nobody ever brought me bad luck but myself. I'm sorry for one thing that I can't leave you fixed right. But a bloke like me never saves nothing. This'll kind of take care of you. No, oh, no, Chuck. Oh, that's all right, Lucy. That's oh, all Chuck, right. Oh, Chuck, I can't let you go like this. I can't. Lucy, never, never tie yourself to a guy that's on the, that's on the downgrade. line and full. That's me, Mark. Me name's Chuck Connors, but everybody knows me but that Mark. Do you want to go to Cuba? Oh, I want to go any place but the Bowery. You're in the Army now. Report here tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for your uniform and equipment. Right. Right here. What's your name? Phil McGee. Sign this line here, right here. Did 
Did you enlist? Yeah. So did I. Boy, we'll clean them up. They can't get away with sinking the main. We'll teach them a lesson they'll never forget, won't we? Who's we fighting? Schweifzig. Schweifzig. Just how's we doing? Poifig, me lad. Poifig. Poifig. Is you back with me now? Anyway. I ain't got much of a place here. It ain't no palace, but but with with you with me, why? It's swell. Oh, we won't be here long, Jeff. Why? We're going right back up on top of the ladder. Like it's never. Yeah, but what about that that Steve Brody that she's with? He's the tops of the Bowery now. Oh, he's a good guy, but you know how fellas are, what? After all, when, when you had your saloon, and we was doing good, but, well, it, it didn't make much difference then, but now that you're sort of down and out, and there ain't a big noise no more, what? It doesn't seem fair for me to stay away from you. Oh, Steve, where's... But I'm going right back. I can get right back up on top now that you're with me. They think they got me licked, but they're all wrong. Oh, I can help you in a lot of ways, Chuck. Now that war's declared, I've been selling more papers than I can carry. Swipes. I done gone and done it. D done what? I joined the army. I'm a soldier. I got a war on me hands. Maybe, maybe to make you general or something, huh? Yeah, but I can't do that now that we're back together and I'm just going to start climbing for the top. <coughs> Gee, me, me luck has changed. You stay here, Swipesy. I'll go back down there and I'll tell them what they can do with this thing. You clean up the joint. I'll be right back, Swipes. Hey, Chuck, look at me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, boy. Some big news for you. Yeah, well, I ain't got no time to waste with you guys. Shove on the brakes. This is important. Yeah. Steve Brody took your saloon away from you, didn't he? Yeah, well, what of it? What if we was to tell you he never jumped off that bridge at all? Well, I'd tell you that you had rats in your belfry. All right, did you see him jump? No, but all me friends, they saw him jump yeah, off well, that... Well, you come with us and we'll show you something that'll make your hair stand up. Yeah, Never but they saw him all yeah, standing on that rail. Yeah, yeah, but all the gang, they saw him in the water. Honest Mike and all of those guys, they wouldn't lie. Seeing him in the water ain't seeing him go off the bridge. What do you mean? This is what made the jump.
And that guy took the dummy in his cab and threw it off the bridge. Why, that guy framed me. Why, the yellow-bellied double-crosser. I'll get even with him for this. Why, I'll kill that guy. That is the end of Mr. Steve Brody. to me and now you're going to give it back. Ah, you're crazy. You didn't jump off the Brooklyn Bridge. You didn't jump off of nothing. I'll show you what jumped off of Brooklyn Bridge. This is what jumped off of Brooklyn Bridge. Don't believe him, boys. It's a lie. You know I made the jump. You seen me, didn't you? Oh, yeah, well, listen. You guys keep out of this. Me and Brody will settle this alone anytime. Any place. Name it. The sooner the better. Tonight at 12.30 on Grogan's barge at the river. I'll be there. Where were you, Steve? Where were you? Come on, let's break it up. Come on, let's break it up. Come on, let's Eight to five on Steve Brody. Now, boys, I've seen him fight and know what he can do. He uses his head. He uses his right. He uses his left. He uses his feet. He uses everything but his teeth. Yeah. Now, who's going to place a bet? Here's the gentleman. Thirty smackers on Steve. Thirty smackers on Steve. What's the name? John Brennan. John Brennan. Thirty smackers on Steve. Who's going to place a bet? I know the other guy. He's a big bunker, hunk of meat. He's got the bronze, but he ain't got the brain. He's a pair of brass knucks. Chuck won't know the difference. <laughs> I won't need him. I can lick him fair and square. The poor chump's all in. He's true. I got it on him in the speed, the wind, and the noodle. A few socks and it'll be all over. <laughs> Here he comes. How are you, has been? I'll see you when I get back. Don't do it, Chuck. Please, don't. There wasn't no fake. I seen him do it. Don't. I'm fixing him for good this time. I'll show him. The Welcher. Come on, come on. Watch my derby, I'll be right back. Sure, Steve.
Some, somebody's coming in the boat. Who is it? It's Steve. Not Ed, it's Chuck. You're wrong. It's Steve. It's Steve Brody. It's Chuck. Chuck. Anyone wants to know who the toughest guy is on the Bowery, you tell him to see Chuck Connors. Three cheers for Chuck Connors! Come on. Hey! private uniform very long. I'll bet that next week I'm an admiral. <laughs> the admiral. Oh, look what somebody sent me. Nice new box of cigars, huh? A toast to Chuck Connor. Yeah. Bigger and better than ever. Just a moment. Now, when the Chuck Connors comes back from Cuba, me and my partner over there, we are going to have a big surprise for him. All right. We are going to build him the biggest saloon in the world. A bar. 200 feet long, with 40 bartenders, and with gold-plated spittoons. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ladies and gents, this is a pleasure. This is what I call poison. We're looking for Chuck Connors. Which one of you is him? That's me. Pin it on me. Yeah, well, you're under arrest. For what? For assault and battery with intent to kill. Assaulting who? Steve Brody. He was picked up on Grogan's barge last night, half dead. What? Why, that rat went and squealed to the copper. Come on, you can tell that to the judge. Oh, uh, what are you getting? Come on. That's all right. They can't do nothing with me. I'm in the army now. Yeah, well, you'll be in jail in a couple of hours. Come on. Come on. Pipe down, you fresh guys. Or I'll pinch all of you. Are you sure you're all right? Of course I'm all right. 
Say, you don't think that guy really licked me, do you? Well, Steve, I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Say, I got it on him in the wind, the speed, and the noodle. I was knocking them all over the place. Steve, Steve. And if I hadn't slipped, they'd be burying her today. Oh, Steve, you mustn't get yourself excited. Be quiet. Why, for a plug nickel, I'd go out right now and knock his teeth no, out. Why? Here, here. No. David. You must be quiet, Mr. Be Bowie. Quiet. The doctor hasn't completed his diagnosis yet. This may be more serious than you realize. The officers are here now to have you identify the man that hit you. Tell him to bring him in. Oh, Steve. <laughs> this stuff's the bunk. Listen, honey, you better wait outside and I'll see you in a little while. Oh, but please, Steve, promise me you won't start it all over again. You never can tell what I'll do. Go on, wait outside. Run along. <laughs> All right. We haven't finished our examination yet. He may be suffering from a concussion. It would be dangerous for you people to go in there and agitate him. Listen, Doc. I don't know nothing about agitating. We're the law. And he's got to identify this man as his assailant. Why? Suppose he should die. And if we didn't have an identification, we couldn't hang you, could we? Oh, no. Well, if you insist, go ahead. But I warn you not to excite him. Come on, let's get it over with. Mr. Brody, the state of New York has issued a warrant against this man for assault with intent to kill. Now, before we can proceed with the indictment, It'll be necessary for you to identify him as your assailant. Well, what you waiting for? Come on, we haven't got all day. I've never seen the big bag of baloney before in my life. He don't look strong enough to assault the horse fly. Are you sure this ain't the guy that beat you up? Nobody beat me up. I slipped and fell down, and I don't know nothing about no warrants. Kelsey, what's the matter with you? I thought you said he did it. Come on, get out of here before the both of us go daffy, too. Why didn't you tell the truth? You know I beat that can right off of you. Why, you big hooligan, if I hadn't fell down, you'd be in the morgue by now. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I didn't cut it out. You guys gotta be friends. I wouldn't be friends with that guy if he was George Washington. And that goes for me, too. Uh, yeah. Come uh, on, get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. Now, what's the use of fighting? The Bowery's big enough for both of you. Come on, shake hands. Chuck is going to Cuba, and you might never see him again. Come on, shake hands. All right, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, that was a great scrap, wasn't it, Steve? It sure was. Oh. The best I ever had. Yeah. I was unconscious for three hours. You were? <laughs> I got three teeth knocked out there and three teeth knocked out. Oh, it was swell. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Chuck, you're going to be late. They'll be waiting for you at the other. Oh, right. that's right. I got to go. I'm going to Cuba, Steve. Gee, I wish you was going along. With a couple of guys like you and me, why, we could cut that war down from three weeks to three days. Gee, I wish I could go with you. Well, so long, Chuck. And good luck. Thanks, Steve. Why don't you come and go along with me? I dare you to. What's that? I dare you to come and go with me. Can you walk? What's that difference? I'm gone, ain't I? 
What's the matter here? You get right back to bed. Get out of the way. The army's coming through. Get out. Oh, go on and kiss him. I know how you feel, Lucy. I can see it written all over your face. Go on. I'll be back, honey. Don't worry. All in. Thanks, Lucy. Don't ever say I never gave you nothing. Come on! Chuck, we miss saying goodbye to Swipes, isn't it? Oh, yeah? Up for doing, Chuck! Poisy!